Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today, well, we have the Chio Garden Committee. How's that? Is that a good? I think that's a good way to describe it. We us. have Joanne, we have uh, Fern, we have the professor, Michael, <laughs> and we have me. So, Fern, uh, let's just start with you because this is that time of year again. It's springtime. Yes, it is. And springtime means Chio. So, that's tell us a little correct. bit about the Chio Garden. Kind of bring us up to date for people that don't know what it is. And Okay. Well, we started Chio about five, in 2020. Mm -hmm. So, this is our fifth season. And um, and we're down to one garden now at the one at Luray Avenue there okay. at Chrysler Road. Uh, we're planning on making that a very productive garden, and um, and we are our planting is going to be this coming Saturday, May the eleventh. We're going to start about eight o'clock, and we hope to get the garden planted in the morning. And um, and we're looking for anyone who wants to volunteer to help us. Well, it's a good work. <clears throat> and Joanne here, she's from CCAP. Uh, and she's going to be partnering with you this year as far as a distribution center, I understand. Yes. Well, we've been partners for a long time. Right. Uh, I think CCAP was one of our first distribution centers. Um, it's the one that we first uh, developed a relationship with right. when we first started the garden. Because well, I remember <clears throat> in years past, you've got a couple tons of food out of there. And the problem is you got to do something with it once harvest starts. Oh, yes. Yeah. But we usually, that's never been our problem. <laughs> our problem has been how to stretch it and how to, yes, how to make it work. To make it, to make it work. Well, we have Mike Graham sitting here with us, and, and I know he does a lot of work behind the scenes. I've seen him over there digging post holes and pulling weeds and, and working his tail off over there. And he doesn't like to tell anybody that, but Mike's an integral part of making this thing work, I think. Thank you, Mark. Mike. 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 <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. And, uh, but... Uh, tell us what you're doing again this year. Well, this has been kind of an interesting year for us. Uh, you know, we started off uh, for this is our fifth anniversary coming up. Uh, when it started four or five years ago, we were just it was on the end, uh, at the in the middle of COVID, and we uh, we felt that the community would need that, and it launched at that first garden where we are right now. Sure. And we did about two uh, two tons of, of fresh vegetables out of that, and it really was quite a, a community effort. Uh, but things were a little different back then because people, uh, the only time they could have a release to get out from COVID was to come out and help us in the garden. Right, right. I remember that. And yeah. they came out a Oh, they, lot. they came yes. out a lot. And then uh, we, we got through COVID, of course, then everybody went back to work. Sure. And it was so successful that, uh, you know, we were getting pressured from some of the governmental officials to expand it to, actually, they want us to have five gardens in each of the sure. districts of, of the supervisors. And uh, we, we ramped it up to three. And then, of course, everybody went back to work. And then so it really put a struggle, a uh, strain on us as far as volunteers being able to, to show up because they just didn't have the available right, time anymore. Right. So uh, Fern and I made some strategic decisions this year is that we want to be really good with one and sit it with three. So we backed off. And, uh, of course, we have some other programs. And uh, the location where the current one is is very good because people walk their dogs and you know they they holler down at us sure. and we holler up at them and they say, come on down yeah, come on down and help and uh, we, we always have a great availability uh, the other locations it, being out in the county it was just hard to do that we uh, we were grateful for the Virginia Hills Church to do this but they're doing that overpass sure so to get out there it's next to impossible now to get over there because you're yeah. shutting down the roads you gotta take a trip <laughs> yeah, that, that is a trip. And so, you know, we just it, it forced us to really look at what we're going to do. And uh, last year, we had a, a heck of a time with uh, baby groundhogs. That was my nemesis all uh, last year. Was yeah. These, in the Luray Garden. At the Luray yeah. Garden. The Luray and, Garden site. And we would just like... Well, I wonder why. You're feeding them. <laughs> well... They, and they're fat. Yeah. Like, I drive down there, and there's a huge roly-poly groundhog. And they can hardly get around. They can hardly yeah. get around. <laughs> well, but, but this year, we're going after them. I mean, uh, we have another uh, solar-paneled uh, uh, generator for us, so we're going to have a double up. We have five uh, rows or five uh, wires now. And we got three of them just really close to each other because it doesn't matter whether they're small, medium, or large. Right, they're going right. to get You're going to get all sides of them, yeah. Yeah, I hope I don't go down there and find a couple of them laying around yeah, to electrocute yeah. this time. That's why we have signs around all over the place, do not touch electronic fences. That's right, right. right. Yeah, like they could read. Right? Yeah, so, well, I'm more worried about human beings now. So, yeah. so, so uh, we have plenty of notification around there to not touch it. But uh, we're really going after that. And we're trying something new this year. 
Uh, the other big nemesis we had is, of course, weeds. Uh, weeds are horrible. And, 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 you know, if you don't stay on top of them, and they, they grab you in the Well, you water them. I mean, you well, know, yeah, but, you have that great irrigation system, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that thing yeah, is yeah. what makes it work. It raises so, healthy And, weeds. again, that goes back to the community showing yeah. up and yeah. bringing that down and installing it for you. And it, I mean, that's a big thing. Oh, no, it, it, it was a big deal. So yeah. this year we decided we, pay, we put ground cloth on everything. And now we're going to cut holes in it, and, yeah. uh, and the uh, the watering is going to be on top so we can see for leaks and stuff. So, between the uh, in, uh, you know improved fencing to keep mm -hmm. the animals out and the ground color cover that we have all over the place, and uh, yeah, I think I think we're going to get on top of this one. Yeah, uh, I want to have a shout out again. It'll be what the third, third, fourth year for Bonnie Plants. Uh, they come through for us every year. They donate all the plants that we have. Oh, wow. That's great. Oh, it is. And, yeah, uh, that, that was a big side part of our budget. Sure. Yeah, was yeah, the, was yeah, the getting the seeds and the plants is expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, it is, especially the plants. Yeah. yeah. Anyone that's gone out to one of the garden centers and tried to buy something yeah. for their own garden, you can see that the prices of, are expensive. Well, they probably, uh, they <clears> probably <throat> give us about $2,000 worth of plants every year. Well, we're going to give them two shout-outs. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, they've been wonderful. I mean, we, we call them up, and they say, okay. In fact, we got a delivery coming in tomorrow or yeah. Thursday. Okay. Are we specializing in anything in particular this year? Because you've always added, you try different things and see what works. Yeah. Well, I think what, what we have found, like, over the years, the lessons learned, is to sort of zero in on what the real popular things are. And Joanne can attest to this a bit because she's it handles, you know, that's CCAP is the we gave distributor of these things. So she knows what people come in and ask for. And um, so tomatoes are a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, cucumbers, peppers. Yes. And maybe, Joanne, maybe you can uh, kind of uh, say what things people seem to ask for and uh, enjoy the most. People really, really enjoy the fresh vegetables. And that is the one thing that CCAP has trouble acquiring. We have to purchase it, basically. We have to purchase our fresh foods. So the community garden is such a great um, way for us to give back to our clients in need. You know, the non-perishables are awesome, but they sure. need fresh food in order to feed their families nutritionally. We were just chosen as to be and part of the uh, Blue Ridge Area Food Bank's um, a pilot program for the Healthy Pantry Initiative. So everything's labeled now as to healthier choices. So with that, we're going to try to push more fruits and vegetables and, and provide recipes. The Virginia Cooperative Extension is going to provide uh, support for us as well. So this year's garden produce is, uh, we're going to really highlight it this year because I think it's really going to be wonderful for our clients. And it's good. We're, they're going to learn how to eat healthier, feed their families better. And with thanks to, to the garden, I think it's just a great collaboration. Thank you so much. Nothing tastes better than something for out of the garden. Even rest, even right when they hold even on to Brussels it. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, right. <laughs> right out of the garden. Well, you know what always gives me a sense of satisfaction? Like when I think about the garden, sometimes you think about all the hard work that's involved in, in, in doing it. But there is such satisfaction, too, when I pull up to like CCAP and there are uh, people there who are coming in to get their food. As you know, I'm carrying that big thing of tomatoes in, they'll they'll meet me sometimes in Let the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they'll say, and I'll say, you want to take us, you want to take some tomatoes and their eyes will get big and they'll you know it's it's seen the excitement on their face to see fresh vegetables sure. and those of us who are sort of accustomed to this don't really give it a second yeah. thought but if fresh produce is something that's really hard for you to come by then it becomes like a, a treasure sure you know. and tomatoes you know they're not cheap anymore i mean used to be yeah. really cheap now they're like real expensive and nothing tastes better than a good tomato out of the garden. You can tell the difference. I've got them where they look beautiful until you cut into them, and it's like you can't put enough salt on it. You know what I mean? It just, they're not. They're not really even taste like anything. There's a distinctive difference between yes. something that comes fresh out of the garden. Well, we have we have two new programs coming in. Okay. I don't know what Fern even knows about this yet. You keep a lot of secrets, Mike. I'm I'm, I I'm all her, ears. I, I keep her off base. I keep her out of base because that's you. He's afraid I'm going to take keep, over. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I don't want to take over. That's why I'm like, you run with it. Well, now you teased us. Now tell us what they are. <laughs> no, I think I'll wait. Uh, uh, let's, let's, no. No, the, the two things are going to happen now. Uh, first of all, the the people come out of the blue. You never expect them, just like our irrigation system. You know, the guy was walking down there. Oh, yeah, I was a farmer. And, yeah, uh, I got this sitting in the garage. Oh, yeah, I'll come and help you. Yeah. 
Well, we were uh, we were just talking with my masseuse of all places. Uh, Cheryl, by the way, is a great masseuse. Another and, plug. That's another okay. Plug. Right? And she said, well, you know, I'm getting a, a bunch of uh, horse manure from this guy. Mm. You know, And I said, well, do you think he might give one for the garden? He said, well, well, sure, I'll call him. So I called him and talked to him. And uh, he he's actually the owner of the, nur not, not the nursery, the, uh, the farm out here where you pick your blueberries coming right, down 81. Right. Mm -hmm. And he, he came over, he dropped it in. He was asking what we were doing. And I said, this, this. He goes, you know, I have a lot of fruit that I can't get rid of. Huh? I would love to be able to, you come and, and pick it up. And I said, look, we'll, we'll pick up all the fruit you have, the, like the uh, peaches and the blueberries and things. He says, I always have a lot that I don't have, and man, I'd love to be able to give it to you guys. So now we're going to have a vegetable. You knew about that one. Yeah. I told you about that one. The one that she doesn't know about is I've been contacted by several farmers who says, I, I, I overproduce. So what do I do with it? And I said, well, get it to us, get it to CCAP, you know, put them in the baskets and everything else and get it down there. So now we'll start a collection for anybody who wants to donate the vegetables uh, to get, get a hold of us, and then we can set up a collection center down there. So... To supplement the other two gardens, because what over the last what four years we've done over seven tons of food, and my garden down there probably will do probably about two tons, and so if we can supplement it with some of these other farmers coming in with excess produce and also throw the vegetables in there, I mean the fruits in there, uh, I think that'll be added added for us. All right. Well, as, as long as I say the community always comes together when there's a need, it seems to come, you know. They always yeah. come together. Yeah. I mean, it's a great thing about our community. And once we tell people about it, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll even get more. Everybody likes to participate, and they like to participate in things that are good. And the, definitely the CHEO is a great a great organization. And uh, Should we tell them about the, the change of land and stuff? Or? Oh, yeah, we can mention that. Sure. Thing. So the, um, the Eastons own the property right, where right. we have the garden now, but as of June 30th, they are selling to the church. You have the exact name of the... Yeah, St. John's. Right, John's. right. Saint There's going to be Baptist. a big construction <clears throat> project right. down there. Right. And they, have, they said that it was no problem for us to continue with the garden down well, that's there. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, and and they said that that's in the floodplain, by the way. So yes, they can't really... It's not the most valuable land right. in the world for them to build <laughs> right, a church right. on. And they said that they have no plans for that particular area at this point. And in fact, uh, Father Gee, which I talked to, said that he's a he's a gardener, and he said, "Man, he will support that 100 percent." And with the help of some sea cat people, going, we have some repairs mm -hmm. starting. Yeah, tomorrow. right. Yeah, so, my husband's going down there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see cat on that's right. You want to yeah. give uh, give us? Well, there was a shed <laughs> that you know. I mean, I just saw pictures. That was enough. That needs a little repair, right. and so they're gonna they're going to go down tomorrow to see how they can just kind of clean it out, try to just knock a few things together to make it viable, at least for this year, so sure. that we can have some place to store. Yeah, yeah but I he didn't, it didn't, I didn't have to coax too much. You know, he was more than willing with another CCAP volunteer, Alan Thompson, to go down sure. and uh, work on the work on the shed. So I'm pretty excited, you know, and, and I think, you know, like I told my husband, like I said, thank you for doing that. But the great thing about it is it'll involve, I think it'll engage more CCAP volunteers into the work of the garden. Yeah. Sure. You know, and I'm hoping that we can get more, you know, we can get more and help Fern out a little bit more. The other thing is we did, um, I did write a grant from the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank for a uh, two-door cooler, a commercial one. So that'll give us plenty of room to Great. store the produce. This way here we don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, it didn't go out today. You know, right. it can it, it can help the community. Yeah, there is a shelf life. That's what, yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, it sounds like things are on track to get started. You're planning this week. We're looking for yeah. volunteers. That's Saturday. What time do you say? 8 o'clock? 9 o'clock? 8 o'clock? Whenever they get down there, we'll accept Well, you'll be there early, right? I'll be yeah. there early. So let's plan your day. Saturday's going to be a busy day in our town. There's a lot of activities going yeah. on. Is but, really? Yeah. yeah, is it really? I yeah. thought it was only us planting. No, no, no. <laughs> we have, we're we're having tons of stuff going that. on. Uh, okay. you know, this is the season where everything starts now. Yeah. yeah. But, if you're looking for something to volunteer for, the, working at these community gardens, again, you don't have to do it every day. You can come and go and pretty much talk to Fern. They'll schedule you up. There's always weeding. There's planting and hoeing and hauling and hopefully, watering. Hopefully no weeding this year. Yeah, well, no, yeah. We, we don't want we don't no weed, to no weeding he, he, He's very year. optimistic. Yes. <laughs> I think he's got a good plan. <laughs> you know, it does work by doing that. Yes, yeah, I, I think know. he's got a plan. We're yeah, trying to make yeah. it as easy as possible for people to come And out. the irrigation really helps because you're just control, uh, concentrating the water at the plant. You're not flooding the That's whole right. 
Exactly. Yeah, so it's it a very good wheat. use of it cuts. It's also a very good use of the water supply, right. yeah. not to, um, you know, have it go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Just goes and where feed it the weeds. Yeah. And the groundhogs. <laughs> I don't like groundhogs. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got everything started. We always yeah. always can use volunteers. We're going to put Fern's information, and uh, you can get hold of her and uh, contact her, and you can get some volunteers out of it. Yes. They always seem to come, but we can. There's never too many. Wait a minute, one more shout out. Yep. I want to thank Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer donated a riding lawnmower. So now we keep it in our little shed. We kind of hide it in oh, there. Oh, that's but, good. Uh, so a lot of people are donating a lot of stuff now, yeah. and she keeps that really clean and, and, and nice yeah. down there. So well, let's right. talk about the, the organization that gives you the plants again. Cause I, uh, that's Bonnie, Bonnie Plants. And where are they at? Uh, they're, uh, they're all over. Uh, you, when you go to Lowe's and all the rest of them, you'll right. see all the plants. See, they control okay. that as an outside supplier. Okay, okay. Uh, they drop it off at the local Lowe's, and then we pick it up. And, okay. Uh, so... I want to give them a shout out because that's a great, Definitely. great help. Yeah. It is. Great help. That's really helped the budget go a lot farther. It does. Oh, yeah. And you know, if you can't volunteer, you can always donate some money to the CHEO project. It's a great, it's a great organization. Yeah. Again, we thank you all for coming in and letting us know. And uh, I like those glasses, by the way, Mike. They, <laughs> they do make you look smarter. When's your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> later this month. Oh, it's later this month. Okay. <laughs> Again, thanks a lot. We really appreciate and, it. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you.